go over the gizmos assignment for today. So we have our assignment open on one side, the gizmos open on another side, a reminder that um, to be logged in, if you are not logged in, you're gonna get like a five minute timer and you're going to get timed out. Um, so make sure to log in. <coughs> so let's launch, launch that gizmo for using the gizmo. So the image at the right shows a man floating in the Dead Sea, an extremely salty lake that lies between Israel and Jordan. Why do you think the man is floating so high in the water? So look here, put down your answer. Why do you think he's floating so, floating so high? And then what might happen if this man tried to read the newspaper while floating in a normal pool? Um, so what would happen to him then? So answer that question as well. So now you can go ahead and read this. We're talking about density, mass, and volume, which we've talked about in today's assignment. And so we have over here in our gizmos, some objects, you have A, B, C, D, E, F, and then we have four beakers, and you'll note that it gives us the density of the liquid in each beaker. So for beaker one, the density of the liquid is 0.5, density of beaker two, 1.0, beaker three, 1.5, beaker four, 2.5. That's a good thing to keep in mind as we go through our assignment. So first question, place object A into beaker two, which contains a liquid with a density of one gram per milliliter, which is how you say that unit. So G, slash ml is gram per milliliter. So let's take A, drop it in beaker two. And we see that it sinks. So what happens? It sinks. Is object A more or less dense than water? Explain how you know. So we have talked about how uh, sinking and floating um, can show whether things are more or less dense. So if something sinks, it is more dense. If something floats, it is less dense. So object A is more dense than the liquid because it sank. Now drop object B into beaker two. Describe what happens and explain what that tells you about the density of object B. So let's take object B, drop it into beaker two. Oh. It floats, meaning that it, it is blank dense than the liquid. So I'm going to have you fill that out. Is it more or less dense than the liquid if it floated? On to the next page. Double click on the shelf to return all objects to the shelf. Double click. Ha, question, how do you estimate the density of an object without measuring its mass or volume? So drag object A into beaker one. If it sinks, moves it to beakers two and three and so on until it floats. So let's take object A. Okay, it sinks. Drag it into beaker two. Still sinks. Beaker three. Ooh, it sinks, but it sinks slower now. So what does that tell you? And then beaker four, it floats. So question A, in which fluid did object A sink the slowest? So it definitely sank pretty slow or the slowest in beaker three. In which fluid did object A float in beaker four? Based on the previous two answers, what can you say about the density of object A? So it sank here and it floated here. So something changed in between these two. So I'm gonna say, based on that, it is more dense than beaker three and, oh, beaker three and less dense than beaker four, meaning its density is in between 1.5 and 2.5 grams per milliliter. And now it's asking you to do that with all of the objects here. So you can see an example of it. Go ahead, fill it out for the rest of them, answer these couple of questions, and you're good to go. Don't forget to submit.